Rose Kerr said it was surreal when she found out the Staten Island School of Civic Leadership scored a 97.2% out of 100 on the city's annual progress report. Oh my goodness. It was the highest score citywide. From the first moment we put a word on a proposal to submit to Chancellor Klein, thinking about what would be good for the future of this country. That word was leadership, which has been integrated into the school's curriculum since it opened its doors in 2009. The school has more than 700 students from kindergarten through eighth grade. Students and parents participate in community service activities with local nonprofit organizations. You could get somewhere in life when you know how to help all the people, not follow other people. The report measures students' test scores and compares them with their peers at public schools across the city. The average of Staten Island's 58 elementary and middle schools was significantly lower than the School of Civic Leadership at 43.5, the second lowest to the Bronx. Staff at the School of Civic Leadership said its rigorous Common Core curriculum adopted by the state last year is a part of their success. Really pushing the children to not only be able to perform operations, but to be able to understand and explain the concepts and the strategies that they're using. The school uses a triad model. In every two classrooms, there are three teachers who work in a collaborative team. Students have more than one teacher to help them, more than one teacher they can rely on. Many students said they feel supported and can understand concepts with confidence, which has reflected in their test scores. We can do anything and make it to college and high school and do the best we can. In Graniteville, Aaron Dickens, New York One.